So there we go, the stock market is going absolutely crazy. If we look at the S&P 500, it's up 1.6% today. And if you look at the NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ is up 2% today. And the market is having a very good day at the moment. And this video is basically gonna be an exact follow on from the video that I dropped yesterday. So we now have the information out where we can kind of build up to the next step, what's going to happen. And we talked about inflate, interest, inflation rates. Inflation rates were going to come out today and it came in bang on 6% and the consensus was 6% So the market got exactly what was expected to happen uh, And actually if you look at trading economics, it was actually below their their forecast now This is quite impressive because I said last time uh, Previously the actual forecast was 6.3% and it went down to 6.2% Then it went to 6.1% and now it's gone down to 6% and it's coming at 6% This is good because what has happened we talked about this yesterday when we had the last inflation data and we went from 6.5% and then we went to 6.4%, the inflation was kind of flat. Everyone was like a little bit worried. Oh, inflation's not coming down. Interest rates are not coming down. And there was that little bit of panic starting to creep into the market. And we talked about that. We talked about when you look at the market and the rally that we've had year to date, when did the market kind of peak out? It was on exactly the day when we had this inflation that came out on the 14th and that's when the market dropped. So the, inf the inflation last time, because we saw people panicking going, inflation isn't coming down, interest rates are gonna carry on going high, the market panicked and it lost its rally. Now, what's gonna be really positive is that's gonna be viewed as, okay, that period of time, that one month where in inflation was only dropped 0.1%, that was a one-off. We're now carrying on on the downtrend that we've seen here and that is what's really positive and that's what the market has been priced in. Okay, we're back, we're kind of battling away inflation and it's coming down again. Now, I've got to say, I would have really liked to see what would have happened if the market came in with, or the inflation data came in with a 5.9. I thought that was, I was really wanting to see how the market reacted to that. Um, I think the market would have got real, I think we would be talking the S&P uh, easily over 2% uh, on the day. I think we might have seen the Nasdaq pushing towards 3% on the day if we saw that. That's what I wanted to see if that happened, but it didn't. But it's still positive as we see the downtrend coming downwards. And I thought that this was going to be really tricky because oil's not been coming down as much recently. Um, I thought it could be a, a quite a tricky month, but hey, we've done all right. Um, what's going to be interesting is actually next time we come in, could potentially be around about the fives if we see inflation carry on in the in the downward trend. We know we might see five point something, and I think the last time we saw a five point something was in 2021. So that would be yeah, that would be really positive if we start moving into that sort of direction. I think that was the first kind of thing that really spooked the market a little bit when we did get that five uh, is when the market kind of got a little bit spooked around that caused what a lot of the market to go down there. So that's going to be really interesting to see, and I think that. You know, we were very much on the down tr downward trend here. If we do get into the fives, potentially what I said at the start of the year, I think we could see f four point something by summer. You know, well, when we get into like July time, August time, I do think we could see four point something. That would be quite good to see. And I think, you know, obviously we talked about the end of the year. Um, I think I said on, on the video that I think we could see potentially that hit a three point something. And then obviously we'll be uh, very much in inflation there so we're, we're somewhere around about i'd say at the moment we're at a checkpoint we're about 50 percent done with what will what the market needs to rally so for the market to rally and carry on the boom that we've had at the start of the year we talked about we need to see good inflation data today and we've got it so uh, that's really positive and obviously that's why the market is reacting really positive to it so we're about 50 percent of the way now and we've got what we wanted now the other uh, 50% is always a little bit harder pre to predict, but that leads us now to next week. And uh, we should do okay on the stock market going forward, depending on uh, you know if there's any other new stories that come out this week. But the next kind of big direction of where the market will go will be based on this guy here, Jerome Powell. The Fed will be meeting and they'll be meeting on March the 21st to 22nd. On the 22nd, we'll get the interest rate hikes. Now, very quickly, it's funny how quickly the market can change. You know, we talked about uh, the other day that the market was f pricing in uh, a 70% chance of a 50 basis point hike. 
Now you look at the moment and it's now a 85% chance of a 0.25 hike. That's how quickly, we've talked about this before, the market can change rapidly depending on what new stories come out. If something can be a little bit higher, something can be a little bit lower, um, the market can really change so dramatically and this is a prime example. So we are gonna see what um, the potential interest rate hike is gonna be and the commentary around potential future rate hikes. It's, in my opinion, next week this interest rate hike is very unknown i am unsure what the fed are going to do i'm not sure if they're going to be a little bit like you know what we know inflation lags realistically now we could be somewhere towards the fives pushing to the low five five percent range you know the the effects that the fed are putting in aren't shown for a, a couple of months so are they going to take that into factor of like we're actually really rapidly coming down here do we slow down um yeah it's going to be really interesting how or are they going to be looking at some of the other factors going we're still not coming down rapidly maybe they're still thinking about this one month where it went a little bit stag stagnant we don't know we don't know there's a lot of guesswork that goes is going on there so yeah we, we're basically onto the known or no now less like now on the next week where we get the the next part of what's going to be key for where the markets go and um, obviously i think if we get 0 0.25 i think everybody will be okay with that zero uh, 50 basis points hike will probably spook quite a few people and we'll see the market probably be a little bit sluggish maybe the fed shockers and they actually come in with a 10 basis point hike that'll be quite interesting to see and um, so yeah it's really unknown now but that's going to be the key decide on where the markets go next so we need Obviously, that to be positive uh, and the markets to like it. And the, the the key thing more than likely will be the commentary on what Jer Jerome Powell says. Are we still going to be aggressive? Can we afford to be a little bit lighter on the hikes? That's probably the, the key indicator once again on where the markets will go. So we'll be looking around for the commentary more than anything. Um, so, yeah, we, we're doing okay at the moment. We've got the inflation data we need. That's been reflected on the market. We've got to wait to next week now and what the Fed say in their commentary around there. And depending on what he said around there, Potentially then we see the market go on to a little bit of a rally there. If there's something there that the market doesn't like and it spooks the market, then uh, potentially we go a little bit lower. So yeah, that's the video for today, guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. For you guys on the Patreon, um, I will try do uh, some exclusive videos for you guys. I'll try get a stock portfolio review up um, in the next, even the next 24 hours, I'll try get for you guys. The live Q&A session, I'll probably try get that on uh, the Thursday evening, so keep your eyes open for that. And if you do want to see that exclusive video, make sure you join with the link in the description to join the Patreon, two exclusive videos a week there. And also, if you do want to start investing, there's a link to Trading Tool 2 in the comment section. Join through there, you can get a free share worth up to £100. But that's the yeah, the video for today, guys, talking about the inflation data. Obviously, very good inflation data that came out today. And over to the next week, and Jerome Powell, and uh, we'll see what his comments come out with. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in a bit.